What's up guys? It's the Sunday before Christmas. I'm trying to do some last minute holiday shopping because I've procrastinated all year. And I'm walking over to B&H right now to get some stuff, but I'm taking 39th Street and every, every Sunday they have this thing called the Hell's Kitchen Market. And it's on 39th between 9th and 10th. And it's year round. It's freezing cold out right now, but they still have it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. But basically it is like this open air market where they sell antiques and some other crafts. But it's pretty cool because it's always here. Uh, Sally, if you wondered where the stuff in your desk went, it's here at the Hell's Kitchen Market. Uh, Honestly, it looks like a bunch of rocks, so you might want to just leave it here. Sir, sir. All right, those people were not super excited about me filming in their tent, but understandably so. The woman just told me that this is the last year that the Hell's Kitchen Market is gonna be here ever. And I think it's been going on for 15 or 20 years. So that's actually really sad that they're not gonna be able to do that anymore because there's a lot of like really quirky stuff that you can find there. Um, like weird New York things, you know, political buttons or coins, subway tokens, things that have like died off in New York City and you would only be able to find in a place like the Hell's Kitchen Market. So that's kind of sad that it's ending, uh, I guess this December forever. Successful trip to B&H. Uh, I got the gifts I wanted to get and then I got for myself, I got like these iPhone cords. I always buy them on Amazon. I buy them in bulk and you get like six of them and they always break within like a month. So this is like 15 bucks per cord with a five year warranty. So hopefully they don't break like all the other ones. But now I'm gonna head to Penn Station and I'm going to show you a New York City hack that is gonna save you tons of time if you're traveling through New York's Penn Station. So when you come to Penn Station and you wanna take the train, you stand right here and behind me is this sign, I'll give you a close up. And this tells you when your train's gonna arrive. Usually you don't find out what track your train is gonna be on until like two minutes before your train gets here. And then this room here is usually filled with hundreds and hundreds of people and they're all rushing down like one staircase to get to the platform. The biggest tip is if you head down one flight, this staircase here, there are gonna be some screens down there that are gonna help you out. So let's go see what they look like. Okay, they're not all working right now, but we're literally one level below where we just were. And you can see there are these older school screens behind me. This is NJ Transit at the top and then right below it where this black screen is, they usually have the Amtrak trains. So you might say like all that does is save you a trip down the staircase. When you're here on Thanksgiving or Christmas or one of the other major holidays, you have like thousands and thousands of people who are trying to get down the staircase to this level and below this level is the track. So if you can already be ahead of those hundreds of thousands of people, you can get to your train really quick, you can get a seat and you're not like stuck in these like masses of people trying to get down there. Okay, that ends today's adventure. If you guys like this content and you want to stay up to date on the latest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. I'll see you guys tomorrow.